Hey everybody, Snigby here from Snigby Gaming, getting ready to jump in and record another episode of Factorio. Uh, just a fair warning to any children under the age of 13, this content is not being made for you. So if you happen to come across this uh, video uh, uh, by mistake, please go ahead and log off. This, is, uh, this may have some uh, adult content in it, and I'm not intending this uh, content to be made for children under the age of 13. With that being said, if you're over the age of 13, please consider subscribing to my channel, uh, hitting that like button down below, and uh, helping me uh, move this uh, this channel along. I really enjoy making the video. I really actually enjoy editing the videos a lot more. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and, and put that out there, put that uh, uh, ask that uh, we go ahead and, and uh, subscribe if you're enjoying this content, and let me know what you think about what's going on. Uh, since the last episode, I went ahead and researched the rest of the science that I had uh, going out there. Uh, and I've also queued up the, a little bit more of the science here. So I went ahead and queued up the batteries and the chemical science packs um, to go ahead and move my way forward on um, getting to my go end goal of having uh, personal bots. Uh, also, I need to go in and jump in and start doing some military science. Uh, I need to do military science and heavy armor and then jump up to the modular armor um, as we go forward. Now, this is going to take go back and hit a little red uh, science by itself, uh, move into some solar energy, uh, modular armor, and portable science or portable solar panels. The reason I'm doing this is I'm really working my way up the, uh, the tech tree here to get into um, modular armor personal and then electric engines which i'm going to need to go ahead and get into robotics anyway uh, construction robots and personal robo ports so those are kind of the the area that i'm going to once you get personal robo ports uh, sorry get back down in there uh, you'll notice that the next one is personal robo port 2 and of course now we start getting into uh, exoskeletons and doing some things along those lines which is going to take some uh, some other sciences probably some military science out here when we get going and uh and running through that all right so um yeah so that's where i stand right now on the science i did discontinue the science so we could talk about that um, i've also if you notice i went ahead and cleared out my green circuit build um, as i was editing the the episode when i built the green science or green circuits uh what they call those uh uh Anyway, uh, I noticed that I was only getting one belt out, and I'm really going to need two belts at, at a minimum uh, for this bit of the mall. I'm probably going to need to have four eventually, but if I do, I'll go ahead and build this, uh, the same thing, a little bit further on down the road. Now, I did take my base uh, build and really kept it running out there. Uh, so I did a little bit of redesign, and really the redesign was around the output. Uh, previously, I was outputting directly onto a belt uh, here in the middle, and now I'm actually outputting from the sides and dropping it into a couple of uh, uh, splitters here, into a single uh, splitter, and then running on down the road. So I'm going to go ahead and spend a little bit of time uh, wrapping my head around this, getting this out there, uh, make sure that everything is, is good to go from there. And then we'll uh, come back to you uh, uh, in a few moments. Uh, expect this to be a time lapse, maybe with a little bit of uh, uh, voiceover work uh, from my post production. So right about now, I'm thinking, wouldn't it be nice to have some uh, bots? Maybe you can build a base to, uh, to do that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, what I did here, uh, just to really reemphasize what my thought process was behind this, was um, I am looking at other people's designs for these and, and, and incorporating them. But I'm, I'm also really trying to focus on the ratios and making sure that everything is going the way I want it. Um, with this, um, I originally had one belt, and I realized very quickly once I started getting 
uh, down into uh, making my green sides, I think it was, that I was very quickly going to run out of uh, run out of green circuits if I didn't do something. So instead of waiting until later and coming back and redesigning it, um, I just decided let's go ahead and, and it's early enough, I'll go ahead and tear it down and, and put it back in. Okay, so I think this is what I'm going to do here. Um, I now have uh, lots of green circuits going. I actually have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I've got 24 green circuit factories uh, lined up, ready to go. I can go ahead and, and expand this at any time. Uh, I'll go ahead and build out, I think, one more of these segments to support what I'm doing here. And we'll leave this last one over here uh, for a later time when I need more. Um, like I said, this should get me two full green uh, uh, belts of green circuits going. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this build and I'll be back with you with maybe some voiceover. If not, it'll, it's, it's just a, uh, uh, we'll, uh, we'll come back with you in just a moment.
All right, and I think that is it. I've actually um, doubled my production a little bit here from where I was, or added to it, and I'll have more than double once we get into that. Okay. So next thing, let me pull up my list of things I wanted to get done. Uh, basically, I need to go out and get some oil going. Uh, let me make sure that this is all going well. Looks like it. All right. So before I can get oil, I really need to uh, build the components that make oil. And so I've already started that with the undergrounds here and the uh, these. I think I want to go ahead and double those. Um, yeah, I've, I've got plenty right now. But the next thing that I need to make is... Um, well, first off, I need to think look into making the next level of um, assemblers because I want to move up the assembly machine too. So I need green circuits, iron gear, and steel plate. I'm not making any steel plate down here. All right. I think what I'm going to have to do is actually move up and make a mall next um, to do what I want to do. In the meantime, I should be able to make some pump jacks and some of those let's see here so I need to make some pump jacks get those made I need to make oil refineries and I need to make some chemical plants is there anything else I need to make from this jump start at this moment in time engines not going to mess with that I don't need any of this. I can, I can make those later. I'm not really missing out on anything here, since we don't have biters turned on. Um, and I should have made some radars down here. I think I did not. So we'll go ahead and, and throw in some radars here as well. And I think that's what that is. All right. So let's expand this a little bit. Well, first off, before I do, let's make sure I've got everything. I need steel. Can I get steel down here somehow, some way? I can. Let's sneak some steel in here. Um, all right. So if I do this, no, that's not going to work. If I'm going to put some steel in here, I need to put some steel in here. Do I want to mess with that or should I build it up there? Ah, I know what I can do. No. Um, can I make... No, I'm still stuck on stone furnaces. I also need some stone brick. All right, I'm not going to make this in my jump start. Jump start is pretty much done, done, done. So what I need to do next is to actually, um, I think I need to look at some mall designs and decide which one I want to use. And I'm going to put a bit of a mall in right here. I think that'll be the next the next step here. So with that being said, I think I'll go ahead and sign off for now. Uh, do a little research on what type of mall I want to build, uh, how long it's going to be, how much material I'm going to need. Um, am I going to need to build any other intermediate steps before I get the mall going? All right, before I get my uh, mall going, I want to go ahead and lay out my red circuits. Um, 
here's what I'm going to do. Let me go into map view here and we'll take a look. I'm going to go ahead and put my oil processing down here between the uh, the jump start base and my smelter array. We'll go ahead and feed the uh, uh, the liquids up the, uh, the belt array around here somewhere, probably down this little channel right here. Uh, from there, uh, I want to go ahead and also need to get the plastics in here. So we'll put some plastic down here somewhere um, as we go through. Now I don't have that ready yet, so I can't make red circuits, um, but I can go ahead and lay it out so I can have my red circuits going north and not have to split them and put some of them going south um, out here. So in doing that, I think what I will do is work with the standard six to one layout leave a little bit of room there and and by that what I mean is if you oh, I gotta come out here and do it this way if we look at what your needs are for a red circuit build we'll just put it down like that you need plastic bars well we need a couple plastic bars every 10 seconds that's pretty doable we need a couple of green circuits electronic circuits every 10 seconds that's again pretty doable uh, and you need four copper cables in 9.5 seconds so if i pull up my calculator here let's see if we can do this math um, the this puts out uh two copper cables in half a second so that means you put out four cables every second okay so with four cables every second so if we take four cables times 9.5 that gives us 38 cables uh, that's going to come out there at any given time uh, with that being said if we change this to red circuits and come back in here uh, a red circuit requires four cables every 10 seconds. So if I've got 38 cables, oh, well, that, that's pretty straightforward. Um, let's see if I can do this math here. Now, this is one of the things I'm trying to learn is how to do the ratios properly. So if I've got 38 cables coming in every uh, 9.5 seconds, let's go ahead and put that in memory. Um, I need to have four times 9.5. I need to have 38 cables every 9.5 seconds. So that's exactly what I need to have there. So it turns out that having this be a six to one ratio is exactly what we need to have here. Um, Okay, so with that being said, if I rotate this a little bit and we can do pretty much what we've done in the past where we go out here and we uh, bad, I'm going to have to take care of that. Let's get these jumps going. Uh, green circuits are coming in. That's coming in. And I am full. Yep. So let's do this. Uh, where's my green circuit build? There it is. We'll just sneak, be a little sneaky here. need to have power both places and I do and I can put half of you there and half of you there might as well go ahead and put a belt here and voila, cleared out a little bit of space. I uh, got a little bit of science in here. Let's go take care of that. I'm 
just put it in one, it doesn't matter. Uh, looks like my, my science has completed here, so let's figure out what I need to do from next. Uh, tech tree. So I was making my way down through them. Did I finish up on the modular? Yep, I did modular armor. I did portable sorter, pa sorter panels. Uh, what do I want to go to next? Ah, engines. Lubricant. Advanced soul processing. All right, I think I am actually, from a science perspective, at a standstill until I get um, some plastics in here and some some uh, uh, others, so we won't worry about that. All right, so what was I going to do here? Oh yeah, I was clearing out my inventory. Looks like I got a lot of, a lot of copper. Let's go ahead and take care of that a little bit. Go ahead and leave that there. Uh, don't really need that copper cable, so we'll put that out. Uh, definitely don't need the stone and the coal. We'll be able to use that later. Let's put down a box here kind of in the way so I'll remember to pick it up later. Where was I? Oh, uh, yes, here's where I was. Now I'm eventually going to move this down to get into my mall in just a second, but uh, before we do that, let's finish up this red build. All right, so it's one to six. And I want to build on both sides, so let's go ahead and put another one here. And they take 10 seconds, so coming out not going to be rushed to get them out. And I really don't need to finish up this all the way, but, uh, and we'll do blue here coming in and out. There we go. All right. Oh, That's one array, and we'll go ahead and, and leave room to do more later on down. Uh, we may bring uh, the, the copper in around the, the outside uh, to do that. Oh wait, we still have to have other materials here, plastic and green circuits. So if I go ahead and put in a belt for green circuit, I can probably do half on half, right? Let's see here. I need two plastic bars and two electronic circuits every. Six seconds. Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll figure it out. If I need to move it up north a little bit, I'll leave a little extra room here. Okay, so my mall is actually going to start right about here. We'll go ahead and start the mall. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and design my mall out, uh, get it uh, laid out, ready to go, and um, we'll be back with you uh, probably in the next episode. Uh, in here, um, I'd still want to... Um, move on into 
uh, eventually blue science, get the military science because I want to clear those out and everything else like that. But okay, with that being said, I guess this was just a little bit of a redesign episode. Uh, thanks everybody for your time. Again, if you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing. It sure uh, helps out and uh, lets me know that y'all are enjoying this content. Also, give me a comment if you want. If you see something that I missed, if you say I can do something a little bit better, I'm always willing to listen and incorporate other people's ideas. So with that, this is Sneakby signing out. Everybody, have a great day.